Hey there little friends, today's video is about inchworms. Inchworms come from a family that has about 35,000 different species in it worldwide. Inchworms are not worms at all, but caterpillars which have three pairs of true legs at the front end, but only two or three pairs of pro legs at the rear end. Since they have no legs in the middle portion of their body, they need to pull their hind portion forward, forming a loop, and then move forward with the front portion of their body. Some people think they look a lot like measuring tape, and that's how they got the nickname inchworm. In fact, another name for the small caterpillars is measuring worms. Now let's talk a little bit about the life of an inchworm. They start out in life as eggs, spending the winter attached to the underside of the leaves. They hatch in the early spring, and as soon as the tiny inchworms emerge, they begin eating. They need to shed the old skin when they're too small. They will molt several times during the stage. When they've developed enough, inchworms get a hard shell around them called pupae that protect them while they transform into adult geometer moths. Inchworms are generally hairless and have smooth bodies. The color can be brownish, green, gray, or black, depending on the type of the moth that the inchworm larvae will become. Some species have black spots on the head. Not all inchworms eat the same foods. Mostly they eat leaves and fruit. One inchworm doesn't eat much, but they can cause real problems when they get together in large groups. A hungry bunch of inchworms can seriously damage trees and bushes such as apple, mulberry, blueberry, pine, and fir. Do you know how they defend themselves when they believe to be hunted? On sensing a possible predator, they become still and resemble a twig. They bear markings that appear like those on the barks or leaf scars. They have the ability to camouflage in order to stay protected from predators. Some inchworms can spin silk similar to what a spider makes. When danger approaches, they can quickly drop from the leaves they're feeding on and hang from the end of the silken strand. The silk is soft at first but gets hard after a while. And once the danger has passed, the inchworms can climb back up to the leaves and go on eating. Curious, do you know there is an exercise called inchworm? It is called so because it involves an up and down motion similar to that of an inchworm on a flat surface. I hope you try that exercise because it's fun and as well strengthen your muscles. Those are the few interesting facts about inchworms little friends. I'll see you in another video with another insect that starts with J. Until then, keep guessing, take care.